Today we are learning how to sharpen a chainsaw chain, so stay tuned! Hi everybody, this is Andreas from Offgrid Sweden. If you haven't been here before, I want to welcome you for the first time. On this channel I show you things that we do on the homestead, tips and tricks, reviews, stuff related to homesteading and off-grid living, and also videos like this one. If you haven't subscribed, please do so if you like the content, and you will get notified on new content. Now back to the topic of this video. We were supposed to start milling for an upcoming project, but the mill got stuck after cutting a meter. I realized that I was using a dull chain, so it was straight to the sharpening station. First thing to do is to take away some of the old metal that is getting stuck in the mineral disc. I'm thinking of getting a diamond disc instead. With this knob, you set the angle that the disc will meet the chain. For ripping chains, I set it to 60 degrees. That has been proving the best angle for my chains. With this knob, you set how deep the grinder wheel should go into the chain. The goal is to take away as little as possible from the chain. This is the stopper that you position the chain with. You can adjust it in and out. With this knob, you adjust the chain back and forward, so it will meet the grinder disc at the right place. And with this lever, you lock the chain in place. Underneath, there is a knob to loosen the base, so you can turn it to get the right angle of each cutting teeth. For the ripping chain, it should be set to 10 degrees positive for the first tooth, and 10 degrees negative for the second, and so on. Let's put the chain in and adjust everything so we will take off as little material as possible from the chain. I set a marker so I know when I have done the whole chain. Let's start sharpening. We grind one cutting tooth and then we jump over one. That's because the tooth that we are jumping over should be at a negative 10 degrees. If you would like to pick up a grinder like this, I leave a link to the Oregon grinder. It's the same one as this, but this one is branded for Logosol. What do you think? Do you like to sharpen your chains manually or with a machine? Please leave your answer in the comments. When we have gone through the whole chain, we change the angle to negative 10 degrees. 
Then we go through everything again and see that the grind will be exactly the same as the other we have already done. Now it's just a matter of going through the whole chain again and we will have a sharp chain so we can start on our project. Is there anybody that wants to guess what the upcoming project is? Leave it down in the comments and we can see if anyone will have the right answer. Now it's done and in the next episode we will mill the lumber that we need for our project. So I'll see you in that episode. If you haven't subscribed already, do so by clicking down there on the Swedish flag. And then you can also click on the little bell icon up there. And then you'll get notified when I put up new videos. And if you want to watch another video, I got one over there for you.